YouTube right now. Let's get into this shit, man. My nigga Dave Chappelle killed it. Went on Saturday Night Live and they wasn't ready. Man. One of the coldest. That, that shouldn't just be a look monologue. That was a State of the Union address. Man. Oh. I mean, Dave, look, bro. God damn, you fucked him up. What is this um mob that's against him called? The Defamation League or something like that? It's one of them, Anti-Defamation. ADL, Anti-Defamation League. You guys are losing your power as every day goes on. Mm-hmm. Y'all motherfuckers try to save my man out of pocket for that monologue. When the monologue was not only genius funny, it was necessary. Absolutely. He could give something like that almost weekly or monthly on, you know what I'm saying, topics and subjects. I mean, news. yo, Dave, see, I know a little bit about Dave Chappelle's story. I know one of his managers slash Asians. I know how they fucked him over. And I watch Dave Chappelle sometimes talk about some of the things that happened to him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it was like a perfect storm, a perfect moment, how they let him host Saturday Night Live. And of course, the wicked people in charge, some people call them the untouchables. I call them the bullshit a lot. <laughs> bullshit a lot. They have tried to put their fingers in the back of this man, and he still wind up hosting this show that they really field out people who can change your train of thought. Mm -hmm. That's what I call people like that. I think I'm the type of person, like when people watch me, they can be like, you know what? I didn't even know you could do that or say that. I'm gonna start thinking that way. That's what I think I am. And what he did on Saturday Night Live I'm sure it made a lot of people be like, wow, yeah, yeah you get what I'm saying? It, right, the way he Yeah, he opened it up. Yeah. Man, he is opening eyes and ears. Yeah. Profound statements, Brother Chappelle. And these people, these defamation league motherfuckers, like, you motherfuckers have always been racist in disguise. You, you got on raincoats with white robes up under there. You, you've always been people who don't want the truth to be spoken. If you speak the truth, God damn it, they take your voice away. I got that from Chuck D. If you speak the truth, they take your voice away. So I salute my brother Dave Chappelle for going on Saturday Night Live and preaching. Because that's what he did to me. Somebody sent me the shit. I was like, what the fuck is somebody sent me this? What the fuck? Let me see what the fuck this is. I ain't know what the fuck it was. I'm like, you nigga the deer my joke? <laughs> <laughs> you stupid. I be mean, jumping to conclusions sometimes. But I watched it and it was like, it made my day. And it then made he my the day. Sketch, the sketch too. He was hilarious. I mean, they just. Yeah. He was having a good time. Yeah. Um, uh, go on here and keep doing your thing, Brother mm -hmm. Chappelle, man. We we need shit like that, cause goddamn it, it's 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 like yo, man. I, I I don't understand how these people are bold enough in this day and time to think. I mean, because the internet gives us confidence, and um, actually, we we become more daring with the things we see, cause we're we're you know we're numb to being afraid as we used to be at one time. Mm -hmm. So I, I don't know how you guys think you're going to stop us from speaking the truth. I mean, I know you're in control of the internet. I know you're in control of the music. I know you're in control of what kids learn. Listen, man, in school, they are teaching the kids that it's not slavery. Those people came here looking for opportunity. That's what they're teaching the kids in school now. <laughs> they're trying to take <laughs> slavery out and hide who they are. You are the worst. And if you if you feel guilty about what I'm saying, you're going to step up and claim it. You're the worst. You're the reason that people are. Let me tell you something, man. Black people and Indians were here. Mm -hmm. And 
it wasn't war war it wasn't it wasn't pillaging and and all like that like how it was when you landed here because a lot of the youngsters don't know that you landed here with war and you got these things called defamation league are you fucking serious do you really want your history out there anti-defamation I mean, you called it the anti defamation League. That's what they called it. Defamation League. The Uh, fuck motherfucker. (laughs) The bullshit a lot. Y'all motherfuckers, your history on this planet is the reason we're all separated right now. Y'all the reason Darlene ain't got nobody. (laughs) (laughs) If it was harmony in the world, Darlene would be happy, goddammit. I wouldn't have never came here. Marcus. It would, you wouldn't even notice how much the is because we'd still be naked. <laughs> Y'all had us wearing shirts and shit. Now Marcus get exposed. <laughs> you thinking of what? Eh? <laughs> 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 nah, I'm just saying. Maybe man. that league can help Corey out. Well, yeah. Maybe they, can they help me. Look maybe at me. Can, maybe they can help his situation out. Look yeah, at me. He'll still be eating green grass, big cow He ass. won't be the uh, purple the rain. <laughs> he won't be following women. He won't com- be complaining every <laughs> week about women. No, nah, Cor- 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 nah, they probably help Cor. He probably be hitting bitches with a club upside the head. I'm take a him home. sex shooter shooting up in your direction. Cor would have been a headbutt king back in the day. You know what I mean? <laughs> 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 He's a proud trick. Yeah, I started head but leave. DJ, what am I? He's a proud trick. A proud, a proud trick. trick, right. How, how was you going to pay the bitches back in the day? What you going to do? I'm a sex shooter shooting up in your direction. You're going to be fucking bitches for a bag. I hold up this one because they already seen it. But I don't have them on there listed yet. Okay, well, have them on there for the show out. Ugh. We made the black ones since the red ones took off. We, we had to make. The black ones, nigga better apologize. We got the black ones for y'all too, man. You know what I'm saying? Come on now. You better buy them because they go fast. We make that batch. Anyway, back to the thing, man. Back to the bullshit a lot. How many of y'all saw Jamie Lee Curtis on that one show? Oh my God, man. I should the, the one from Michael Myers? What show? Oh my is God, that, man! Oh my God, man! You know what? I'm gonna I'm do this. I'm gonna have to send. I'm gonna have to send my man the clip. Hey, um, uh, uh, hey, I need you to do me a favor. I, I mean, cause like this is this is like it's ridiculous. Hold on, let me see. Is this it? Yeah. Oh Lord, that sounds like it's. What you gotta hell? just show like a little clip of this. We might have to come back to it because this bitch, Jamie Lee Curtis. Is that is that is that the one from uh, Halloween? Myers. Yes. Uh huh. Man, this bitch was doing too much. She act like Kanye West. When recently? Is, you, I'm, I'm gonna show it to you. It goes back to this. It's like, is there a difference when it comes to working with a female versus working with a male? And if it is, because we know it is, what is the difference? working with a female versus working with a male. I'm talking about in the workplace. Like, I, I want I want to try to talk about that because like, it is my opinion when we work with females, we are at a disadvantage in this day and time because we have to cater to the feelings and emotions of somebody who is Fucking crazy! Mm. That particular person talking about every woman. Talking about a lot of women. There you go. Clear it. Clear that up. Talking about a lot of women. A lot of women are absolutely fucking insane. Man. And when you have to work with them, (laughs) you really have to watch what you say because if you don't watch what you say, you will be deemed a villain and you may even lose your job. A la Jalen Rose simply said, why is the woman's name being protected? They never 
had him explain or did they explain why the funky bitch for the Boston Celtics name was not released. Right, exactly. I agree with that. It's like almost like a double standard. Jalen Rose stood on there and apologized and say, I now understand why. Well, can you explain to us why? When you working with a woman, she ain't even got to say her name when some shit jump off? It protect her identity, huh? Right, I'm saying like, if you know that going in, when women come talk to you at the job, you have to be very careful on how you talk to them because their name ain't even gotta be released. Mm. They the fucking victim. Somebody say Jamie Lee Curtis look like Brett Favre. Uh-huh. You got the video of this bitch? Can you play like a quick little video of this bitch? That I don't know. Damn, we advertising somebody. Fuck it, they can have that. Act one, the face of a crying. Oh shit. Somebody put Kanye that. West tweeted um, on uh, just recently, and I, I'll read his. It was yesterday. Yesterday. Yesterday morning. He wrote, I woke up to this. Yeah, this is what he said. In case people don't know, I'm a bit sleepy tonight, but when I wake up, I'm going DEFCON three on Jewish people. And then he goes on to say, the funny thing is, I can't be anti-Semitic because black people are actually Jew. Also, you guys have. T- anyway, he goes on. You saw that tweet, and you responded immediately, saying, "Look, yes, look like, also, like you read it, huh, Michael Mike. The holiest day in Judaism was last week. Words matter. They about to carry me, but fuck it. Ended once in genocide. Your words hurt and incite violence. You are a father. Please stop. I burst into tears. I woke up and burst into tears. Watch this woman. Defcon three on Jewish people. Watch this. What are you doing? This is it's it's. I mean, it's bad enough that fascism is on the rise around the world, but on Twitter on a on a portal to pour that in as if Jewish people haven't had it hard enough. Yes, I have never seen your eyes well up oh, in I'm, anger like that. Look at the bitch who... <laughs> yeah. I woke up and was, I thought, my grandparents? Yeah. Yeah. It just... Do you it, see it, this bitch? It's just abhorrent. Yeah. It's abhorrent Way behavior. Kept, I hope he gets uh, help. I hope his children get uh-huh. help. She so brought up his kids. Wow. It's terrible. Yeah. It's been a, it's, it's, it's caused a lot, a ton, a ton She couldn't of fake a tear out, though. And, so, and if we are I thought you was a good actor, Jamie. Yeah. Who are we? Yeah. What? She said, if we aren't reacting, who are we? Man, get the fuck out the of here. The bitch brought up his kids. Uh, the bitch, know. look. They, look, first of all, the point I'm trying to make, can you imagine working with a bitch like that? Can you imagine... When you be on set, some of these people who get juice will tell you. Um, they, they had a director or whoever come tell you, uh, don't eyeball Jamie Lee Curtis. Don't look her in the eye. I hope Michael Myers catch up with your funky ass. I think she got killed in this last one, right? <laughs> I think so. I don't know. I mean, like, the point I'm trying to make, when I see videos like that, I'm like, man, why is this bitch acting like it's the end of the world because Kanye spoke, she know but, she, oh, no, she, go ahead. She knows she ain't never gave a damn about nothing that Kanye said. This is what I'm saying. She did not touch her like I'm that. I'm not talking about what Kanye spoke can bring that out of you, but the actions of what people in control of Hollywood, some people call them the untouchables, I call them the bullshit a lot. I'm talking about the actions. Man, Michael Jackson is dead. Prince is dead. Whitney Houston is dead. And those can we? Can you want? I can keep going. Wait though, and that was and that was words that a man. Her said. grandma did. Wait, and those are words that a man said or tweeted, but yet, I wonder how passionate she spoke when all those, and and Harvey Weinstein happens to be Jewish, I believe, when all those men in power in Hollywood, of that background, and did all that shit to those women. Were you that passionate about that? And that was actions. This is Kanye or these other people spoke words. They had their opinions and they gave their, you know what I'm saying? Their takes on things. Those were words. 
Those people, how passionate was she when, when all that shit happened and took place? All those powerful people that were directors and whatever, cast, you know. All those powerful cast, people, people who went to Pedophile Island that we know about. That you know about. Because, why weren't you crying about kids getting the shit fucked out of them? Yeah, young girls under age that could be easily manipulated by those men. What the? We're okay. talking about actions that exactly. we didn't see. Uh, mm hmm Mm -hmm. Kanye just said something. Yeah, he, he talks. He and, talks. And you were that passionate about that. I would like to know what you did in that. And that was actual actions that those guys did. Hey, look, this is what I'm saying about, about the bitch. You've been doing a whack ass movie for over 20 years. You plugged in Hollywood, bitch. You are part of the motherfucking gang, the mob. How the fuck do you remake that garbage ass movie time and time again and complain about anything that's happening on this planet? Bitch, you've been eating for 30 years off a movie that ain't shit. What the fuck is you sitting here boo-hooing about on anything? Bitch, shut the fuck up. Show your titties again. <laughs> she oh. showed her titties. What you say? She showed her titties off. Trading places. Oh, this must be a long time ago. Remember with Eddie? It's a movie. You were still. You were still. Oh, oh, oh. You were still oh, inside. Oh, I want to see them motherfuckers no more. I ain't gonna lie. She had some nice pointy titties. They weren't real yeah, big. But... Yeah, with the motherfuckers pointing to the ground now. Jamie Lee, can we please see your elderly titties? I mean, Michael Myers done stabbed them motherfuckers a lot of times. Sandpaper bags, nigga. That's what it's gonna look like. You wanna see some sandpaper bag with nipples on them, nigga? That's what you're gonna see.